Welcome to a recipe divider tutorial. I'm Shari Filamahala here at the Graphic 45 office and I'm excited in this tutorial to teach you how to create your own recipe card dividers. Of course, these can always be used in other unique ways as well, um, such as popping these onto a card base to create some really great all occasion, happy birthday, get well cards. Um, or you can always take your crocodile and punch some holes in the side and then grab some of your uh, binding rings that you've got left over around the house or some ribbon and turn this into a fabulous little mini. So you'll see that in this tutorial, we're gonna walk you through how to create each of these gorgeous divider cards using our stickers, chipboard, as well as um, some fun fussy cutting techniques, really showing you how to get the most out of your papers. So we look forward to creating all eight of these divider cards along with you today. If you're not already a Club G45 subscriber, this month, along with these recipe cards, um, Annette Green, who's created these, has also created uh, this fabulous chipboard set uh, where we'll be creating this recipe box with a storage drawer. So you're gonna be getting all these goodies with your Club G45 Volume 9 kit. You can hop on over to our website, g45papers.com, to pick up the kit or become a subscriber or find a local G45 retailer near you. You can do all those things on our website, but even if you don't have the kit, we encourage you to just grab some supplies and create along with us and learn some fun new techniques, uh, not only this month, but every month with us. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time we've got a new tutorial up. So let's grab our stuff and have some fun. We're gonna be cutting out eight coordinating papers that are gonna to measure to be six and a half by nine inches. This first one is Handmade, Farmer's Market, Home Sweet Home, Garden Fresh, Country Life, Granny's Quilt, another of the Handmade, but this, uh, the A side, and apple pie. And then you're going to score all eight of those on the nine inch uh, side of things at right in half at four and a half. Step two, we're gonna take two sheets of My Sunshine and we're gonna cut out a total of eight six by four pieces. So we've got two of each of these, the Naturally Homegrown, the Domestic Goddess, making some canned vegetables this woman sewing and these cute little hens in step three from the apple pie paper we're going to cut out grandma's apple pie recipe this is approximately three and a half by two and a half so our next step is to adhere all of our bases closed that we um, cut out earlier those pieces that are um, six and a half by nine inches so that will make a nice sturdy base for our divider cards however if you're gonna be making um, cards to be giving out or perhaps a mini album, you might not want to adhere all the way shut. You might wanna do something um, a little more creative if you're making handmade cards, so you would just keep it you know, open and shut like this. If you were doing a mini album, you could possibly just adhere um, the um, to the left hand or the left hand side and the bottom closed and then that way you would have a little pocket insert here to add some more tags or papers or p photos to your mini album so it's kind of up to you at this point if how you're going to use it so um, we're going to be using ours as divider cards so I'm going to adhere mine shut and I'm just using um, some Art Glitter Glue Liquid Adhesive, uh, but you could use any adhesive um, at this point. So you could use a dry adhesive, score tape, just whatever you prefer. Now we're just gonna simply decorate our recipe card, so. We'll adhere this baker or this chef to the front of our 
divider card. And this would be great for, it looks like she's making some tomato sauce. So this would be a great divider for your sauces. So uh, I'm just taking some of those chipboard elements from the Deluxe Collector's Edition chipboard and sanding off some of those little nubs so it's nice and smooth. And then this will adhere just nice on the top as our file tab. So it'll be easy to pull this out of our uh, recipe box. And then you could um, always create a label that goes over the homegrown that maybe says sauces or you could cut out a decorative a piece of paper and then write on whatever you're going to be using your divider for. And then taking some more chipboard elements, we will just decorate up our divider card. So as you can see here on our example, grandma's apple pie recipe just slides right in there. So this is just adhered in an L shape. So I'm going to adhere that where it's just overlapping over that blue check just a little bit. And then taking a few of these cute little chipboard circles to add a little more decoration. And then also it'll provide a nice little spot for our recipe card to rest on. So that is looking beautiful. And then last but not least, we're just gonna take one of these little circle stickers to cover up the whole of our chipboard tag since we are not using that. And then we can take our grandma's apple pie recipe and slide that right in to our first little divider. We're gonna take another one of those little file tabs and we're going to cover the back with that. That way we won't have any exposed chipboard and it'll look uh, gorgeous on no matter what side you're looking at. Of course, if you are creating a card out of this, you could just use one of those and then just place it a little bit lower onto your card or just save these for another project. So now we're gonna create this dimensional divider. So we're taking our tomato and pea divider base and this cute four by six says apple pie without some cheese is like a kiss without a squeeze, which is such a cute and silly saying. <laughs> so after we have that adhered, now we're gonna take um, two of our little hexagon stickers and these are gonna be our little tabs for this. So just right above our red scallop line, about, I don't know, an inch and a half from the border. We'll put one hexagon on one side and well, they're squares, but the image inside the square is a quilting hexagon. So not to be confused. Um, so we've got our little tabs ready to go. From Country Life, we're gonna cut out three stamps. I've got a lettuce, tomato, and peas. And you can see uh, it's just been cut with some little fine scallops uh, scissors. You can do that or you can just cut it straight on. It'll look uh, gorgeous either way. To adhere our stamps, I have my lettuce up in the top right hand corner and my tomatoes just um, overlapping over there. Now I'm gonna put my peas just towards the right hand edge about an inch from the bottom. And then taking this chipboard piece, this is just going to overlap over our tomatoes and peas, just adding that extra bit of dimension. And then taking one of our stickers, we're gonna grab this Farm Fresh Eggs and it's gonna go right over the circle in our chipboard tag.
Now we're gonna grab this Happiness is Homemade Scalloped Circle sticker. And I'm just gonna be poking out those little scalloped pieces that I like to get stuck in there. I'm using a paper clip to do this. You could use a paper piercer or any of your gadgets at home. Put this down. She's just going to overlap onto her knee, kind of facing, so you have two mirror images facing each other. Then we've taken this green pea banner chipboard piece and add the farm fresh eggs. And then from Farmer's Market, we fussy cut out this cute little cantaloupe. And then taking the foam adhesive, we are just going to pop this on just right down here, overlaying, giving this divider card a lot of really great interest, dimension, as well as some different textures. You can see the stickers add a bit of sheen and everything else is matte. So it's kind of nice having all those elements adding interest to our divider cards. Step seven, we are um, taking our red pattern and we are going to add this. And then we're gonna take our tomato and lettuce chipboard and these will go right at the top towards the right hand side and then I'll flip that over and then we can adhere our lettuce on top of there making sure they're nice and flush with each other like so and then we'll take our fussy cut from our fussy cuts from country life of tomatoes carrots and peas and adhere them in a diagonal Step six, we're gonna be creating this cute woman's world divider card. So taking our hens, we are going to adhere those onto this blue plaid. And then from the stickers, we're gonna take these uh, little oval label shapes with peas and lettuce. And then towards the left-hand side, We'll just adhere our peas down about an inch and a half from the left and then just match up our lettuce with our previously adhered stickers. So it matches perfectly like so. And now I've got this Woman's World chipboard and I'll just be adhering it just like we did that first one leaving an L shape. So if you do wanna slide in a photo or a recipe card you can do so. And then from the stickers, we'll take one of these red ornate circles to cover our chipboard hole. Step eight, we're gonna take our green text page and then our naturally homegrown recipe card. And this will adhere on top of there to create our divider. And of course you can always use these recipe cards for recipe cards. So you, if you wanna do that, you can just not add all the embellishments and things on here. And you could just use some of your other pattern papers to decorate our little dividers. So now uh, we're gonna be taking a few different elements. We're gonna fussy cut out this um, cabbage from Farmer's Market, and that's going to be the first thing that adheres down. It's going to go about in the center on the right-hand side, just barely overlapping onto the red. And then taking the Happiness is Homemade Green Oval sticker, we're just going to cover up where it says Recipes from the Kitchen of. And we'll take another one of these cute little scallop stickers and overlap our cabbage. Okay. 
It's fun to be able to use the embellishments in such simple and easy ways, just really adding a lot to your projects. And then this is going to go just about a quarter of an inch off the top. The Stony Brook Farms Dairy um, stickers. And our Deluxe Collector's Editions, we have these, um, I believe we currently have eight different Deluxe Collector's Editions in stock right now. And they're really fun. They're collections that we've brought back and or we brought out in the past that had so many people wanting us to bring them back. So many different requests that we uh, brought them back in the collection pack where you get the 24 sheets, the chipboard, and the stickers. We're always taking requests for our DCEs. Um, on social media or you can just email us at info at g45papers.com if there are any collections you want us to re-release. We always put those down in our, our request spreadsheet and then uh, look those over whenever we're coming up with new products. So we always love to hear from you, your different collection ideas. And so this chipboard, I added some foam adhesive and I'm just going to layer it just a bit over our stickers and fussy cut pieces and then I'm going to take two of these green circle stickers and cover up our little holes like so and there you have it we've got a gorgeous dimensional divider card step nine we're going to be taking this blue paper and covering it with another one of these hen cut aparts and now we're going to create some cute little tabs with these long label stickers so just covering up the farm fresh eggs having it go about a half or a quarter of an inch over the top and then we'll take our green hens So this doesn't quite match. So you can see I um, squared it up on the backhand side, but on the front, it is longer than the top. So I'm just going to now fussy cut this so it matches my front. We're gonna take this Farm Fresh sticker and this is gonna go towards the left-hand side. And then using some fussy cuts from a farmer's market, we've got this red cabbage. And our green hen chipboard. And that we'll just put over the other green hen. Replace one for another so we can have a little more dimension, a little more fun. And then we're going to take that red circle, pop it over the top. Now we're going to make a You Are My Sunshine divider card. Just taking that nice ivory B side and then our naturally homegrown recipe card. And then just taking this You Are My Sunshine label and frame so of course if you want to leave it open so you could be labeling what recipes you have or what photos you're um, hallmarking or if you wanted to do this as a card and write happy birthday you can leave that open but we are going to put ours in for the sake of decoration right now and then taking this decorative chipboard I haven't prepped this one, so we're just going to sand off those nubs again and adhere this to the top left hand about an inch and a half from the left. And then from Granny's Quilt, we've used a circle punch. This one's about three by eight inches of a circle punch, and we are going to just adhere that down onto our chipboard piece. 
If you don't have that exact circle punch, you can use something similar and it'll still uh, turn out beautifully. And for our last divider card, we're taking our last paper that we've cut and our recipe card with the woman making some sauces. And then this Happiness is Homemade chipboard, we all just put another one of our uh, 3 8 of an inch circle punches. This time uh, we cut this from Garden Fresh just to cover that hole. Of course, you can always leave it as is or add some twine or ribbon through those holes if you like. And then this I'm going to put closer towards the center, just overlapping about a fourth of an inch. And then from our sticker sheet, we're going to pull the East West Home is Best. And of course, this is one of those that has the little cut aparts in it. So you want to make sure before you would hear this down, you are getting out those little bits and pieces. So you get all that gorgeous decoration. And then we'll adhere this down towards the bottom left. So there you have it. We've finished all eight of our divider cards. And if you do want to go above and beyond, you can always add even more uh, fussy cuts and interest to your cards. And I've got a few examples that I'll show you next. If you really want to dress this up, you can always add some extra um, stickers and some fussy cuts. So you can see here, we added another chipboard piece, a cute little bit of seam binding there and then even added some more uh, stickers and then fussy cuts with some dimensional adhesive. So if you want to go above and beyond, uh, this is always a fun way to do that and using up all those bits and bobs. These beauties have been kept nice and simple where you can slide in your uh, cards or your photos. But if you want to add some more interest, you can always uh, do a little bit more fussy cutting here. There's some shard a farm fresh label sticker, another home sweet home sticker just peeking behind there and some more of that seam binding. So you can see they both look beautiful and depending on your purpose, uh, you may or may want to go simple or uh, go big. And these ones here, we've added just a bit of a uh, fussy cut flowers, some of the beautiful seam binding there and it just adds that nice pop along with this little uh, sticker here. Last but not least, we've popped up our seed packet image and added another little chipboard piece with seam binding, some fussy cuts, and the remainder of your border sticker that we uh, used from our recipe box. You can see here the recipe box that we made, and that's the sticker we used on the recipe box and then there's the extra uh, leftover bits. So you can always add um, more to the projects and we even have a series that we have our brand ambassadors do called Club G45 Leveled Up where we ask our brand ambassadors to take one of our video tutorials or our project sheets and uh, kind of recreate it. They can use the same products or other Graphic 45 products and we want them to add their own uh, techniques and little bits of fun uh, tips and things like that as well. So if you are one of those out there who likes to level up your Club G45 projects, we'd love to see them over on social media. Just um, share your projects, use that Club G45 hashtag or just the Graphic45 hashtag when you share your projects. Uh, we appreciate your support. We appreciate you following along with our tutorials. If you're looking for more fun uh, tutorials like this one where you can create so many different projects and things using Graphic45. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you get notified uh, by email whenever we have up a new video. And we appreciate you so much and thanks so much for joining us. As always, happy paper crafting.